it out, if you want to come out, and uh, here's my thoughts and opinions on it. So as you can see, it's a nice looking little SUV. Um, it's got a good 4x4 system, an actual transfer case high and low, which is uh, something to be really kind of impressed about at this price point. Uh, here in Honduras, the, it starts at around $24,000, $25,000 for the base model. Uh, I know in Mexico they start at twenty, dollars so it's probably a difference in the country's tax laws. Um, as you can see, there's absolutely no space in the back here, and they had to put the taillights in the bumper which is a funny little uh, detail. It's just cute. It has a very nice uh, proportions and there's a lot of body kits out that make it look like different vehicles, uh, Land Rovers, G-Wagon, you know. It's a very nice looking car. Now driving, uh, which we'll get to a little later, it's got a little 1.5 liter um, four cylinder, which really does leave some to be desired. I imagine that it's a pretty good motor, reliable over time, uh, except in the city, you know, it gets you where you need to go. But if you're on the highway, um, it's it definitely is something to be uh, desired there. Getting in the car is actually very nice. You got some big doors. Uh, you can see on the door panels there, it just kind of stops and you just get through the door. You have some nice little bead rolling, uh, or, you know, design stamped into the metal. And a small little, very thin door panel. Getting in, you can see that it's got some decent space for two people. Uh, if you try to fit four in here, they're going to be small kids or adults for a very short passage. Uh, it's not comfortable at all. I really don't fit. Um, as a two-seater, it's good. Really, if you're looking at for it for a family, I wouldn't recommend it. It is small. So you can get the full effect here. I'll even try to sit in. So you gotta move the seat up like that, and then we'll climb in here. Now, as you can see, with the passenger seat where it would normally be, I have uh, exactly no room. Very uncomfortable, very small. I think even in Europe, they made it a two-seater for emissions regulations. You can see in the window, I don't know if you can see it, you have exposed rivets in the metal, which gives it a cool look, a little kind of uh, industrial kind of look there, but very simple. The interior appointments are very, very simple in this car. Uh, they really are, it is meant to be more rugged. In the back, you really don't have a lot of, um, creature comforts or really any comforts at all going on here you see the got two cup holders little change phone uh, pocket there blank switches which I believe were probably uh, window switches for a different model car traditional style e-brake you have your transfer case and your gear shift. Um, no frills going down there. You see those are the, um, it's got some hill descent, the two windows, traction control, automatic AC, which is nice, or heat. Going on to the stereo, this is another part that really I'm um, very unimpressed by, but it's simple and it works. Albeit it doesn't really sound that good. Um, what is nice about the car is it does have standard uh, passenger and driver airbags, which sometimes you get into countries like this, they don't put them on there uh, even because it saves a decent amount of money. Sun visors, very simple, no lights, but they do the trick. Okay, so sitting in the driver's seat, you have a nice gauge cluster, even at, at night, it's nice to look at, it's pleasing to the eye. Um, you got steering controls for the Bluetooth, which is nice. Uh, all the stereo little options there. Cruise control. On this side, this car has the optional um, windshield, I mean, I'm sorry, the headlight washers. Don't really know how effective they are. Haven't taken the car off-roading, so I can't speak to that. 
Um, faster side, you have a little grab handle here and not much else. Decent space. The seats are comfortable. Um, they're not the greatest, they're a little hard, but they're not bad. I've sat in much worse. And looking out, this is what you see. Now, I would say my main gripe with the car is this windshield. Now, it looks great, and it really gives it a very cool personality. But for me, I'm a little uh, taller. And when you look out, you can't see stoplight even parked at a correct distance. And so you have to kind of, I find myself leaning forward to look at, a, at the stoplight from when it turns green. Um, at least in, in San Pedro Sula, where I am, the, you know, how this city is designed, maybe in other places they have the stoplights a little bit further out, but here in this city, I'm having difficulty actually seeing uh, what's going on. And so as you can see here, it is a simple little four cylinder, no plastic, no frills. Uh, it's got ABS, but it's just very, very, very simple which in terms of reliability and new cars nowadays, I prefer this. Uh, you know, a lot of cars I believe are getting a little too, a little too high tech, a little too much for their own good. But this one, it, it works. It's, you know, four cylinders, not the smoothest. It's not the fastest, it doesn't sound that nice, but it works. You, know, you can even see here, even just to save some money, uh, firewalls, a primer color. Um, as we go around, you'll see that in the wheel wells, that there's no wheel liners. Uh, there's a little wheel liner up here, but you see the, the frames right there, the subframe. It actually has some overspray on it. In the back, this is where there is zero wheel liners, and you'll see some overspray. Now, this car was one of the other more uh, brighter colors, obviously being black, can't really see it. And it's a little dirty too, apologize for that. Uh, you'll see the overspray that they have. That's just the way that they can save some money uh, in building it. Back, you got a full size spare. Open it up and if the seats are up, you have basically a hand width of storage space. Like I said, it's really, um, and even less if you put the seats back to make them somewhat comfortable. Like I said, it's basically useless. Um, it has no trunk. Either you put people or you have some luggage space. With the seats down, it's not that bad. It's better. But still not really acceptable. But still, it's, it's, it's you know, what they classify as a K car in Japan. So it's to be expected in a way. I had another K car. Uh, it's a Daihatsu Terrius. And I would say that the Terrius had a much better use of its total uh, size dimensions. It had a smaller, much smaller hood, which allowed there to be a bigger passenger compartment. Uh, it had, it was a full four door car, decent trunk space. You know, uh, my wife and I and my parents were able to go on a little trip, all of us with suitcases, and I could still see out the back. So that's just the thing to have when you're, consider when you're, if you're looking to buy this car. It is a great looking car. It's got the right proportions. It's got the great look. Uh, I would say for Honduras for twenty six, twenty seven thousand dollars, I would say this is a little too much. I wouldn't pay that for this vehicle for what you get. Uh, at twenty, I would buy it for sure. It's just a twenty seven. It, it gets into a different, uh, a different branch of vehicles that you could possibly consider looking at. For example, in this area, you could get a Hilux. Um, you know, used Fortuner from Toyota. There's a lot of different vehicles you can look at. I would consider one of those uh, well before I purchase this, uh, but that's it for this part of the video.
So here we are uh, driving the car now in uh, in the city of San Pedro Sula, Honduras. And you know, keeping up with other cars, it does it well. Uh, it really doesn't have any issues with that. The only problem really is if you try to get on a highway, it really is uh, kind of sluggish. The car definitely feels clunky. Uh, going over bumps, it's not smooth. But again, that's the four by four aspect of it. You know, it's got a solid rear axle on the back. So it's, um, you know, you, you get to expect some of this. Uh, it's definitely is in uh, soft suspension. Uh, it's softer than the suspension I had in my Daihatsu Terriers. And, you know, I prefer a little bit of a stiffer suspension, especially in the city. Um, you know, really this actually, I feel kind of goes against it. Not really the happiest with it. It's definitely got a lot of body pull. Um, you know, again, depending on what you want it for, it might be exactly what you need. You know, it is comfortable. Like I said, though, it is a two-seater. It really is not practical to fit anyone back there. If you have family, it's, it would get very old very quickly. Uh, turning radius, as you can expect from the car being this small, it is exceptional. Uh, it really can turn on a dime in wherever you need to. Uh, it takes about 13 seconds or so to get to 100 kilometers, which is about 62 miles an hour. So really uh, not fast, but again, you expect that from a K car. They're not quick. And if you can imagine, in Japan, they even have a smaller engine to fit within K car standards of about 650 cc's, if I'm not mistaken. So here we'll, uh, you know, just trying to get up to 70 kilometers an hour. I have to give it about half to three quarters throttle. For what most of the people who buy it for is a city car, especially in countries like this, um, it's good. If it's just you or a couple, uh, if you have kids, maybe small kids, uh, but once they get bigger, it would definitely get a little bit more impractical. And I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so we'll see how this comes out. This is a little bit of a bumpy stretch here. Just get up that little hill, about half to three quarters throttle. This is full throttle. 80, 90. So we'll see, I don't know what this person wants to do. We'll try passing them. Full throttle. Um, kind of feel like I could brew a cup of tea, have a cup of coffee. That's 100, so that's 60 miles an hour. 
awesome. So thank you guys for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe if you did. And uh, that's my little review, little driving, and kind of what it is to really look at this car. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's any questions, you can just ask in the comments. Thank you.